So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can buy and sell 999 plus listings, players or cards in FC Mobile. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it. We've got a lot of cards right now uh, that you cannot buy or that you cannot sell, of course. It's definitely easier to sell some of the cards than buy some of the cards right now because Marquinhos, Eder Militao, Hernandez, for example, have gone up to their max price and they're not going up uh, more than that i'm gonna go ahead and tell you what you need to do with those type of cards and i would suggest you to not sell any of them right now anyways first of all if you want to go ahead and sell sell your cards if you find these cards for example like we got with marquinhos uh, who has got um, 999 plus people trying to buy that card and uh, he's not going up in price as well as with Eder Militao right there. The same thing with Hernandez, same thing with some other cards. For example, we've got this 82 overall Mendy as well. He's not going to go up more than that right now. I would suggest you to just hold on to these cards. Do not sell them right now. That's the most important part. Do not sell all these cards right now. I don't think it's worth it because I feel like EA are going to increase their demand. Not, not their demand, but they're going to increase their max price. Right now, uh, no one is able to... Uh, buy these cards no not no one but most people are not able to buy these cards because there are just too many people trying to buy them at their max price and i think ea should go ahead and increase their max price and if they don't you can go on and sell them later on either way uh, because there are just too many people trying to buy these cards just don't sell them right now hold on to these cards if they if they are in demand and if they got um, a lot of demand from a lot of people like Hernandez, like um, this, Ona not Onana, of course, Mandy card right there, even Kamavinga. Uh, not, not a lot of people are trying to buy Kamavinga, to be fair, but we've got a lot of cards that a lot of people are trying to buy. We've got the Syncope, um, it's got quite a good demand, but mostly if they've got like 200 plus people trying to buy those cards and their prices are not going up, it's definitely worth it for you to go ahead and wait because I think they're going to increase their price. And now how you can go ahead and sell the cards that, uh, that does not have a lot of demand and that you just want to get rid of them, of course. I've got this GoSense, for example. It's not that hard to go ahead and get rid of cards who, um, who have got like 10 or 15 uh, blue writing right there. It's not that hard. You can go ahead and list them up and eventually they're going to sell in half an hour, in an hour, in a couple of hours. But if you got players like, for example, this ruler, um, who's got 999 plus listings as well, but blue writing, which means people trying to sell these cards, he's not going to go down more than that. So you won't actually be able to sell this card. All you need to do though is you can go ahead and click sell and in a week or so, he will still sell. This card, for example, in a week will sell, um, even though he, he that's his minimum price, he's going to sell because there are just too many people right now. There is only one market, I'm pretty sure, or a couple of markets and the, uh, there are no different regions so there are just too many people trying to buy their cards uh, sell those cards as well so eventually if you want to sell those cards they're gonna sell eventually but if you're not uh, if you're not able to sell some of the cards like for example dear right there who has got 999 plus listings is actually that's actually his main price as well if you find a card whose main price is not that for example with barco and you can sell barco right now all you need to do is find his refresh time and you can go ahead and uh, find that on site called FIFA Prizey with double A.com and you will be able to sell those cards. Uh, Dan Burn is there as well, um, Edgar is there as well. All you need to do though is you, you should go ahead and list them up. If you go ahead and list them up, eventually they're gonna sell. If they're, if that's not their mean price though, as I said, you can go ahead and check their refresh time um, on that app on FIFA Prizey. I'm actually gonna show it to you right now. You can go ahead and check down price and you will be able to um, you will be able to sell them eventually. Also, the same case with uh, when you are trying to buy the cards and it's not their max price. For example, if you're trying to buy um, this Tagliafico, uh, even though probably nobody wants him, if you, if you are trying to buy um, this Kamavinga card and you can't actually get him uh, from the market and there are just a lot of people trying to buy that card or this Guardiol, look at that guardiola a lot of people are trying to buy this guardiola card as well that's his max price as well so you can't really do much about that um but if if, if it's not their max price like christensen that's not christensen's max price but if you can buy him from the market you can go on fifa prize as well and um wait until his refresh time comes and try to be one of the first ones to go ahead and either buy buy those cards or sell or sell those cards and you should be able to buy and sell some of those cards as I said, if they're at their mean, uh, mean price and you're trying to sell those cards, just list them up. Eventually, they're going to sell. 
Um, but if they're not at their min, min price, you can go and use FIFA Pricey whenever the price refreshes. And the same thing with their um, with, with when you're trying to buy those cards as well, if they're not at their max price. Let's go and check out FIFA Pricey up then, and I'm gonna show you how, how that works. This is the side that I'm talking about then, as you can see right there, FIFA Prize with double A. I'm gonna put the link down in the description if I remember, hopefully I'm not gonna forget it. But this is pretty much the side, and you can see Palai, Garincha, Eusebio, every single one of these cards have got the refresh time. No untradeable cards, of course, because they're not in the market. But Zidane, for example, his refresh time is gonna be in, uh, if you go ahead and click that, in 51 minutes and 37 seconds. So if you want to go ahead and buy or sell this Zidane card and you can't do it right now, you need to wait until this refresh time and then you should try to be one of the uh, one of the first ones to go and buy that. Let's go ahead and find Christensen, for example, because he was a decent one uh, that I had in my team as well. Christensen, 83 overall. So his refresh time is in one hour, 11 minutes and 24 seconds right now. So um, if I can buy that Christensen card right now, if he's got a very, very high demand uh, and I can't really buy him right now and he's, he's not at his max price as well. That's important. If, they're at, if they are at their max price, then it's impossible to go out and buy them right now. You need to wait days, if not weeks. But if it's not um, his, uh, his max price, his price is gonna refresh in one hour and um, 10 minutes and I, will be, I should be able to get him if I'm one of the first ones to, uh, to bid on that card and try to get that. That's pretty much how it works with FIFA Pro or no FIFA Prize, FC Prize it says, but the site is still called FIFA Prize. This is basically how you can buy and sell those 999 plus listings players for both red and uh, blue listings. You, you need to check out their refresh time. If they are at their minimum or highest uh, price, then it's not possible right now. They're hopefully, as I said, gonna increase some uh, price for their maximum price for Hernandez, for their Militao, and most of these cards, because they're just too many people trying to buy this card. Let me go ahead and claim that one as well. Um, oh, we're just gonna get some bronze players, nothing crazy. This is a Libertadores, is it? I think that's Libertadores card. 80 pays though for a 65 overall silver card. That's definitely not bad. If you want to make coins, I already made a couple of videos about that, so you can go ahead and check that out. If you've got lower overall cards that you don't need and that they are worth a lot of coins, you can go ahead and sell them as well, like this Ganduzi, Bergwijn, Crown Birch. Uh, if you don't need them, of course, I went ahead and bought, uh, bought some of them for the video as well, for the cheap beast video. Bam! I don't need this Michael, for example. I can go ahead and sell them, uh, sell him. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna start selling most of these cards as well. I'm definitely gonna be starting. Uh, I'm definitely gonna start selling most of these cards because I don't need any of them. And some of them are worth quite a few amount of coins as well. Um, for example, I, I sold silver for like seventy, eighty thousand coins. I'm pretty sure and some other silvers are worth a lot. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of the video for today. Make sure to like and subscribe. That There is 40,000 coins for a random, uh, not, not silver, bronze card.